This is the seated cable lateral raise to target the side delt. The seated position and ability to brace with the opposite arm allows for more stability and makes it harder to use body momentum, resulting in more isolation at the side delt and can make it easier to push to failure. For the setup, place an adjustable bench in front of the pulley at a distance to where you can get a full range of motion where the hand is able to go to the back of the hips during that eccentric like this. Have the angle of the bench around 60 degrees from horizontal so you can use the opposite hand to brace and keep the torso vertical and not lean to one side. And lastly, adjust the pulley at a height where at the bottom of the movement the cable is at or close to horizontal like this giving us peak tension in the length of position of the side delt. Right here I have the pulley one notch up from the bottom. To start the movement, grab the handle, and I'd recommend doing your weaker arm first, and feel free to use wrist straps as it can help improve my muscle connection with the side delt. Then get tension in the cable, and begin the movement by leading with the pinky and the elbow, raising the arm at around 45 to 60 degrees in front of the body like this. To avoid shrugging the shoulder, as you go up, point the chest up and think like you're reaching the arm away from the body, reaching in front of you, and you'll feel more tension in the side delt. Now when you perform the movement, make sure you're raising the arm at the same angle as the cable, again 45 to 60 degrees in front of the body, where at the top of the movement, the cable is superimposed below the arm like this. Now it will feel like you're raising the arm a little bit more forward and a little less out to the side than you may normally would for your cable ladder raises, and don't worry, it will still target the side delt, but it will target more of the anterior portion of the side delt, and you'll get some of the front delts as well. Get a pause at the top, and on that way down, always slow and controlled 2-3 to three seconds, and think like you're still reaching away from the body and resisting the way down. Go down to where the hand is at the back of the hips like this, and I do like to get a tiny pause here, feeling the stretch in the side delt. Again, as you're going down, make sure you keep the chest pointed up so you'll feel better tension in the side delts. Now, if you're an advanced lifter, your last rep should look something like this, where you try to perform that concentric for three to five seconds before giving up. And after failure, you can do two to three more reps, assisting yourself on that way up with the opposite arm like this. Now, go ahead and like this video if you learned something, and subscribe for more tutorial videos just like this one. See ya!